Hello everybody, welcome to The Quick Colonists. Quick Colonists! I am playing the game The Colonists and I am playing it quickly. Now it's funny, I'm not playing it quickly but you will see it go 500 times the normal speed. We are going to get this over and done with and as you can see I've already built quite a bit. Now the mission is a large monument. Now we haven't built one of those yet but I have already started. Coal seems to be a problem because I can find iron and I can find gold but I cannot find coal. So I have started the basis. If you don't understand what I've done Everything that I've already done has been covered in a previous video. I have basically just started a very basic colony. I've got wood production and I have stone production. I am researching and I have just gone up to a level two workshop. I have just got construction one. Now I've got myself a little work storage yard that just collecting logs and planks so that when I need them they are ready to go. I've got a little collection area here in which my guy plants trees in that formation and there are two cutters either side that cut the same format although they're supposed to. Um, one of them's actually doing the wrong so I you'll see it change here. Um, now this direction there is iron just off the peninsula there but we do still have to we do still have to gain a little bit of area there so uh, we're going to build one right on the edge there and we're going to make a little road here we go. Um, there is some stone. Uh, but there's not a lot of stone. Most of our food is currently fish. That is the only stone we have. Um, but you can see there's a lot of stone in our supplies at the moment. Um, we need to look for some more stone. And we're going to double the sawmill because uh, planks are quite a big deal. Um, so that'll do nicely. That'll help there. We'll speed it up in a minute. I just want to kind of go through basically what I've done at the start of this mission. Now I have four residents and I have just built two level two residents so that we have the level two energy coming in for the workshop and for future buildings. We have the same kind of lumberjack forestry set up over here for this little pile of trees. And we did have stone, I think, that was here. Um, but there is no more stone. So it's actually not worth keeping that there. So uh, we're going to destroy that and build another uh, forestry. That then allows us to uh, chop down twice as many trees, a lumberjack. Um, and that's pretty much it for the main part of the island. Now we have clay, which we cannot get yet. And we have quartz, which we cannot get yet. One requires level two, one requires level three. Uh, we've got some more fishing and we've got a bunch more residences over here. And this is our way that we've just cleared a bunch of trees with this lumberjack hut. He's still going to get rid of the few left. And that is going to allow us to progress this way. Now, like I said, we're looking for coal. Um, we haven't found any yet. But there is definitely stuff this way. And when I progressed along here towards this iron here, it said it said that there was um, gold. 
Now we need construction free, and we need glass, and we need gold. The planks are fine, and the stone is fine. We've got enough of that. But it's the gold and the, uh, it's the gold, the glass, and construction free that are the big problems. There's a lot needed to do all of those. Okay, let's speed this bugger up. So, we start by expanding. We're gonna expand down south because we know something's gotta be down there and we expand out this way. So, um, we're gonna plant some more trees so that our tree cutter has uh, a little bit more to cut down and that will then help us because we always need wood. Wood is pretty much part of everything. So we're going to cut all this down um, just because, you know, we need to get rid of that. That's fine. And now we've expanded, we're going to continue to go down here. Now, this is very much mission five. I'm not, I'm not actually sure I said that right at the beginning. But basically what I am doing is I am not playing the fighting levels yet. I am just doing the level building and exploration levels first. I'm going to work through those first. So that is what I'm doing right now. Um, and there we have gold. We discover gold in the bottom there. And you see we've got gold down there as well. So we found gold. Now, um, I know I need to go this way as well, so I'm going to build a, um, a watchtower there, and I'm going to build a watchtower up here, and we are going to continue to expand, because we still have no coal. Coal is a big issue. Uh, but as you can see, I realised that I had no cider for my level 2 units. Um, so... Um, I have now built an orchard, and we now have level two. And that's lovely. And as you can see, I use the map to actually work out where things are. And um, we're not doing too badly. We are, we are coming along quite nicely. Um, I realised that I probably need to get more food because even though we've got a lot of fish, we we don't really have any. Um, we don't have enough food really to supply everyone. So I've got the the sheep. That'll do very nice. And I am now going to expand a bit more further so that I can combine these two areas. Plus, we've now got salt. At this point, I have no idea why I need salt. And I find coal, so I ignore the salt. Screw the salt, I don't care about the salt anymore. Salt is irrelevant, we need the coal, we need iron. Because we need tools in order to progress up. Um, and there we are, all connected. Now, down here we've got uh, a mine for stone. So that is going to come in handy should we need it, should that stone run out. I'm telling you it probably will. And we now have access to the iron at the top and we can now see that this is the Northern Peninsula. There is nothing else here. So I decide, right, I am going to harvest the iron because we don't quite have the coal yet, but we need the iron anyway. So let's build a storage unit and let's start putting iron in the storage unit so that we have a little supply being built up. And here we go. We actually have access to our coal, there it is. It's not a lot, if we're being honest. It's really not a massive amount, um, but it'll be enough for now. Basically, it's we need the tools so that we can progress through. Um, and we are now going to, uh, we're gonna mine the coal and we are going to continue expanding
there we go we know that there's a little bit more around that corner so i'm gonna need to actually cut those trees down as well so as we have just unlocked the coal we need blast furnaces and we need a tool maker there we go um because that will help us to progress on And, um, and that's everything running nicely. These are the bits that I should probably do much research in whilst I'm in them. Because I didn't look ahead um, to know exactly what's going on. Um, I plant three more buildings down at level two because I know that I need level two. Um... And there we go. We're going to keep expanding this way. Because we have to. Um, and we get all the stuff we need. It's handy having wood here because they don't have to take it quite as far. So I'm going to make planks there as well because that will really help. Um, and I've just discovered a new um, coal mine that are through the trees. So I now need to cut all the trees down and expand so I can get to the coal mine because that is going to become quite an important linchpin in this entire construction. Okay, so let's double the stone. That's the most important thing at the moment. If we can clear out this stone um, and put it into a storage, then we can join them together. I got rid of them. Don't question why I got rid of them. I planted the wrong buildings, so shut up. Who cares? Um, I put the right buildings down. That's what I did before anyone queries me. And that will start working on the stone. And now we need to start getting to the gold and the stone mine and the quartz mine because we need to start thinking about the end game here. It's not going to be anytime soon just yet. But we do have to make sure that we have exactly what we need. I realise that the uh, the lumberjack is very limited by how much he's actually going to cut down. So I know I have to build something over there. But I now have a road maker. And he will basically use the stone that I'm making to make stone roads. And what stone roads do is they speed up transportation. You can see a lot of things being left in the uh, at the flagpoles. There we go. And there it is. We now have access to our coal mine, which is much more important. I have to place down a storage unit because we need to start storing the wood so that he'll continue to cut it down. And I now really wish to watch. Um, I want to see the, the stone floors go down. Because um, I want to see, look, look how much stuff's just being stockpiled. And there it is, look at that. How cool does that look? And now people, the little robots, will move considerably quicker on those roads. And that means that all of this stuff that's sitting at the areas and waiting will actually be moved to where it needs to be moved. Now, he will just slowly work around his roads and work out from his house to a certain radius. You can choose any roads and he'll just go and do them. But the closer to his home, the more power he will have to go off and do it kind of thing. It, the, the quicker it will be. So, we now have access to the coal mine at the top. We have cut away all the trees. Everything is working very nicely. Look at these stone roads all making everything look lovely and making everything move very, very quick. Um, so I decide I'm going to make a, I'm 
because just because I need I need to get rid of the wood and the only way to do that is uh, to actually make him do something with the wood because it wasn't going anywhere so I'll make a sawmill I realized I didn't actually say um, what I was gonna build but yeah I built a sawmill so as you can see this is the part of the game now where you just need things to happen I'm waiting on the research and there's very very little that I can actually do um, there's very little I can do at the moment so we're gonna sit here for a moment now imagine what this is like in real time bearing in mind it's on speed 4 and it's 500 times the speed So I am now going to need bricks. I have just realized I need bricks. So I am making a brick mine, a clay mine, sorry. And I am making a brick maker because we're going to need bricks for the next part. I also make two level two, two level two bits there because they are going to need energy to be supplied to the brick maker and to the level two mine. So we put them right there. They will just give the energy straight there. It's a very quick thing. I am also now going to start stockpiling the alcohol, the cider, because that's becoming a little bit of a bottleneck. So if I can store it like that, then it gives me a reason to want to do it. You may also notice I have now built myself a little uh, a floor maker, a new stone road cobblesmith man down south. And he is now making it all from down there because that's where a lot of my mines are. And I need that to move very quickly as well. And you can see we are on construction to um, we are almost on the way. We're almost halfway there, shall we say. <laughs> and it's not quite halfway there. It turns out to be a lot further away. But well, I'm not going to go into that just yet. We'll, we'll, we'll see that in the next episode. But getting from Construction 2 to Construction 3 is a much bigger deal than I realised. Because there were things I didn't realise I needed. <laughs> and I slowly find them out as things progress. But there we go, construction two is now on its way. And um, I'm gonna look into brick roads at one point as well, because I like the idea. The stone roads have really helped speed up movement, so making them even faster can't hurt. But yet again, coal is very much uh, a big bottleneck. In this whole level, there is only two places for coal. And the moment the uh, the above ground supplies are gone, then we're screwed. Because I've only got one and that is so goddamn slow. That is very much a story for another time. Because as you can see... I am now making another blast furnace and another tool maker because I realized tools is taking too long. So I'm going to leave it um, where it is because um, it doesn't have to be close. We just need the tools, and the tools will slowly be taken to it. With the new roads we've got, they'll be relatively quick to deliver. So I don't want to kind of put, build any more here. This area is quite packed now, so... I'm not going to be going too far. Oh. But this is it now, for this part. I am just waiting for construction to, to, to pop. And then that is where this will end. The next part... I am going to combine this section with the section on the left. Um, the research is done, so I can now upgrade one of these. So I have one still working at level two, 
but one working on level three. And we will need level three to do all the different bits and pieces that we need to do to complete this level. So thanks for watching. The colonist done quick. This is part one of level five. Please keep a lookout for part two. Please like and subscribe and I will see you again next time.